Welcome back to today's video. We're on the banks of Loch Long in Scotland taking a look at what is left of the old torpedo range. The range has been in use since 1912 and finally closed in 1986. Activity at the range was high during World War II with more than 12,000 torpedoes launched from the site. They were launched from tubes under the range or from submarines moored on the docks of the range. Targets were set up in the lock so that they could practice their skills. The range became obsolete in 1986 when technology moved on and fires and vandalism seem to have now taken their toll. The site is earmarked for residential plots and holiday lodges and the clearing of the site has begun. On the day of our visit not much was left and the contractors were on site.
town called Galston, Galveston. Apparently it was uh, famous for the Mulberry Harbours in 1943. So I'm going to have a quick uh, nosy around here, see what we can see. Galveston is a small port on the southwest coast of Scotland in Dumfries and Galloway. The village became part of a secret Mulberry Harbour project the profile of the beach and seabed was similar to that of the Normandy coast, hence why the area was chosen. In the autumn of 1942, several locations in, in this remote area were chosen to evaluate their use in preparation for a D-Day invasion. Three prototypes were considered, the Hippo, the Swiss Roll and the Spud Pier and Whale Roadway. This was the harbour that went to war. This was the Mulberry Harbour. Not much remains now of the harbours, but what is left is actually a scheduled monument by Historic Scotland. Managed to get some drone footage, I'll drop that in now. Well, that's the end of our little video today. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to see some more images, uh, please consider checking our Instagram and Facebook page. Until next time, see ya.